All right, guys, so a couple videos back, I mentioned a new boat. Obviously, this is what I meant by new boat. This is actually, it's, this is called a boat rackham, made by a company called Boat, um, B-O-T-E. You guys should be able to see that there on the front. This thing is absolutely sick. It is a 12 foot paddle board. It is designed for fishing ultra skinny water, getting into places where even the Ginu cannot fit. You know, there's a lot of places where I wanna fish with the Ginu where I can't drop the trolling motor around and just slide around. This thing will be able to do that stuff perfectly. Um, there's a lot of saltwater ponds, just places you can't go with a Ginu. So this will be able to handle all of that stuff. Um, I think I said before it's 12 foot and I think it's about three foot wide. And uh, yeah, this is a 2016 model. This model I've been looking for forever. When I was 16 years old, you know, I was literally, I wanted something so bad, like a boat, anything that I could basically prevent me from having to wade and stuff like that and walk around in the water. This was it. Of course, I didn't get it. I ended up getting a Ginu after I graduated, but I had my eye on this boat for, you know, the past four or five years and I finally found one on uh, Facebook Marketplace and I jumped on it. Uh, this this color scheme is the Tarpon Scale color scheme. It's the one I've been looking for uh, in particular because I love the Tarpon Scales. They got it on the paddle right here. And then the front of the board is just all tar Tarpon Scales, which looks super sick. So all I got today is the fly rod. Got my cooler here on the back, tackle rack, which I really didn't need to bring. It has two rod holders. All I've got is a fly rod today. Um, so it'll hold two spinning rods, but I didn't bring spinning rods, which is why I'm saying I didn't really need to bring it, but it's all rigged up, ready to go. Hopefully we'll be able to knock out some fish on fly. Let me hop on here. Hop on just like that. Simple, easy. And uh, we can just glide through this water. We'll be looking through, you know, brush like this on the skinny flat, looking for redfish, trout, snook, maybe a black drum or even a tarpon. A lot of fish. A lot of fish we can catch today. So we'll be looking around for that. I got my eight-weight fly rod. Let's get into them. Let's see. See what we can catch today on our first trip. Now I have fished on this a few times. I've had this board for about a month. Um, but I really wanted to get comfortable with it before I brought it out here on the water to film a video. So, let's get into it and find some fish here, guys. Big snook. <sighs> Broke me off in the trees. And that's a fray. Oh man, dude. Like a 25 inch snook right there. Guess I'll go to this guy. So my options right there were to try to put a stop to him or let him get into that tree that's covered in barnacles. And just put a little bit too much pressure and he was able to fray it. Got a good head shake in there and that's probably what did it, but that sucks, dude. All right, next fly is this little guy. Um, a subscriber tied this for me, sent it to the PO box. Um, I do have a PO box, it's in the description if you guys wanna check it out, wanna send me anything like flies, lures, anything like that. I will try my best to use them on the channel. Ugh. But let's keep going here and see if we can't find another fish. Yeah, frayed me. I had to stop him or he was gonna get into this mess. That's just unfortunate that he frayed. Uh -huh. Redfish just ate something. Oh, he's tailing right there. Backs out of the water. Watch this, guys. This is gonna be sick if he's, uh, if he's hungry. Should eat this fly. Fly rod, he's right here. Somewhere. Oh, they're just eating some eating stuff. Got him. <laughs> oh, that was awesome. Just gotta make sure he doesn't get in the trees here. 
Oh, he's got a buddy with him. Yeah, they were working the shoreline here, popping stuff. And he was hungry. I've pulled the hook on a couple fish. I had one snook, broke me off, trade me off, I should say. And then uh, a red that ate, a big trout that ate, and somehow just got the hook out of his mouth. I think he took one hard head shake like that. And that was it. Come here, buddy. Made it in. How about that one? Not a bad redfish, probably. 22 inches or 21 inches something like that but check out those cool spots one two three four on that side on this side we got one two three four on that side eight spot redfish that fly right there in the corner of his mouth once again shout out to uh, i believe his name is nestor uh sent that uh sent a bunch of flies to the po box and we're putting them to work today so beautiful redfish we'll go ahead and hunt and hook them oh that popped out very easily and then back in the water buddy Simple, easy. Got myself another redfish here. Nice one. That might work. There she is, yes sir. Missed the first hook set, or not missed the first hook set, but he inhaled it one time and kinda, well, I guess maybe he spit it or I just missed the hook set, but threw it back in front of him. That'll work. That was awesome. Come here, bud. Trying to get himself in those trees there. Drop my anchor in the water there. And I'll just sneak him out this way. That was cool. Whew. Not too bad there. Another one about the same size as the last one, but look at that fly right in the uh, front of his mouth there. Whew. That's so much fun. So much fun. Bright blue tail there. Check that out. Now the blue tail, that comes from uh, the things they eat. So if they're eating things like shrimp, shrimp eat this stuff called blue-green algae. And then that blue-green algae, you know, gets into the bodies of these redfish and turns their tails blue. Just like that. All right, we'll go ahead and unhook this guy. Pop it out there, easy as that. And here you go, bud. There he goes. Simple as that, quick catch and release. All right, so what do you guys think? Boat's not working too bad, huh? Not too bad. All right, let's go ahead, grab this anchor. I got this little 10 pound mushroom anchor that I keep with me right there. If you catch a fish big enough, you know, that's gonna end up pulling you into the trees, you can just drop that thing down just like that. <sighs> All right. I think I got a redfish in here. I see the wake, I don't see the fit. Yeah, that's gotta be a redfish. Yeah, 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 yeah. Pick up my fly rod very quietly. Yeah, I see the wake. Yep, 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 redfish. It's going right on the surface there. Should see the fly here in a second. Oh, <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, he saw the fly all right. Oh, I got a spook out of him. <laughs> all right, maybe there's another one back here in this mud. Oh, yep, tailing right in front of me. How cool is that? Holy crap, big school. Yep, got him. Yeah. <laughs> I knew there had to be another one in there. Look at him go. Oh, man, that was cool. That one spooked, but... How big is this one? He's decent. All right, we got him. That was so cool, man. I saw that one. I spooked him with the cast or whatever. Oh, see, there's another wake of a couple of them there. And then I look up and I see some tails going like this, doot, 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 through the surface. For redfish. That was so cool. I couldn't actually see him that well. I just saw the headwakes chasing the fly down. So I fell weight, pulled tight. Be careful not to break my fly rod. Wow, that is a bright orange redfish, man. That is a bright orange redfish. He is very dark, cool spots, blue tail. And he is that color because he's been back here in this mud. So like, for example, a beach redfish that you may catch off the beach or in a clear sandy area. It's gonna be a bit brighter. This guy's in muddy water, so he's darker and more copper colored. Got that uh, fly in there somewhere. Let me reach down there and grab it. All right. And I'm right in the tongue. So back in the water you go, buddy. Maybe I can <laughs> maybe I can find your friends here if they went off this way, somewhere in this backwater. So sick. Clip for? Hmm. Well, it's currently about one o'clock. Not sure how much more fishing I'm gonna do, but time to eat lunch. It's like a nice school of eight snook. I've had two follow the fly out really hard from their little school. The rest kind of just chilled. They didn't see me, so I'll sneak back up to them here. School of like 20 right here. Oh, got him. Got one. Nice hook. Oh, that was sick. He like barely knows he's hooked. He's with the school. There he goes. Not bad. Yeah, look at all those snook racing up in there. Woo, big jump. Come on, bud. Oh, he's hooked right on the outside, like right on his face. Come on, bud. Oh, that's pretty frayed. <laughs> How beautiful is that? <sighs> Not too bad. That is probably a 28 inch snook, I'd say. <sighs> Hooked right on the outside of the face there. I heard him pop it real loud, but somehow didn't get him inside the mouth. Kind of funny. But uh, incredible, man. What do you guys think? You guys think this board was worth it? Yes or no? Let me know in the comments. All right. Pop that out and immediately back on his way. Yeah, that is a healthy slot fish right there. There she goes. See a red right here, really skinny. I think it's a red. 
see. Yeah, it's a nice red. Ready, guys? Let's make this work. Oh, nice cast. See if you see it. He's looking at it, looking at it, looking at it. Well, he didn't even... Just kept on swimming past it. Maybe he didn't see it. Looking at it. Yep, he's on it. On it, got him. Oh, that's a big red. Oh. Oh man, after he didn't, I felt like he didn't see it like three casts in a row. We got him, boys. That was so awesome. So amazing to just watch a fish, like the gears start turning of him start to see it, start to see it, start to see it. Runs at the bait and uh, we got him. Drop my anchor down and we'll chase him. Come on, bud. There he is, number four. Now they're like, they're like all 22 inches about, but this one is pretty fat. Blue tail, that is a textbook redfish on fly right there. Pretty amazing, beautiful fish. All right, we'll pop that hook out. All right, got that fly out of there. All right, bud, redfish number four. I love these fish, man. It's like, whew, I could do this all day long, or one after the other. <sighs> Alright, bud, I'm gonna shoot you here. There he goes, number four. A nice school of snook right here coming down the shoreline. Oh, there's a stud in there, holy crap. Just gotta be very careful, four of them. Let him get a little too close. Oh man, big one ate it, big one ate it. Oh my God. Holy crap, man. Oh, that was so sick. That was so sick. Oh my God, dude fish is literally not stopping. Yeah, we're in the backing. Swimming at me now. Still swimming at me. What a giant snook, oh my god. Not a, not a true giant, but this fish is 33, 34. That was the biggest one in the school of four there, and she ate. I think I can get her right here. She's hooked right in the corner. Perfect spot, because if that was hooked any deeper in her mouth, I'd probably have frayed off by now. <laughs> Got her. Got her incredible fish, man. Ooh. <sighs> Check that out. That is probably a 33, 34 inch snook. On the fly rod there, this is my biggest snook I have ever caught on a fly rod. Um, and that's incredible. Fly, once again, tied by a subscriber. We're whooping them today. I'm gonna keep going. I actually saw a really, I know this may sound weird, but I saw a decent tarpon sitting out on the flat right as I hooked that fish. So I'm gonna keep my eye out here. Maybe I'll see him. Maybe this is the last fish of the day. 
who knows? But uh, fishing is just incredible today, guys. Beautiful. Simple as that. And there she is. Awesome fish. What a run that first one was. What a run. She took like 200 yards of line out. She should be good there. All right, see you, big girl. Oh, poor red, poor red, poor red, poor red. Jumping out. This fish doesn't even know he's hooked. Drop the anchor. Huge red. This fish like doesn't even know what's going on. Nope, don't go on the tree there. Oh. This fish like literally doesn't realize he's hooked. That was sick. Fish was sitting right here in the trees, threw it in front of it, chased it out 10, 15 feet. I don't know, I'm kind of surprised this red is literally not fighting. Oh, okay, don't go on the trees here. Look at the freaking snook too. Or what are these? Black drum with them. Oh. Mm. Come here, <sighs> Come on! Fish does not want to give up. Oh. Got her. Oh. Incredible redfish. Oh my god. Okay, guys. Well, I'm a bit distracted here because I saw a gator up on the shoreline probably 300 yards back and he's chased, he swam all 300 yards and I can see him sitting like 200 yards away now. Well, yeah, he's sitting about 100 yards away now. So I'm gonna go ahead and get a quick release on this redfish. <sighs> Incredible fish. <clears throat> Hooked right in the top of the mouse there. Come on, bud. All right, flies out. Oh, incredible bull red here. All right, yeah, see what I was talking about. Uh, I just said a minute ago that there was an alligator sitting up on the shoreline probably 300 yards away and he swam 200 yards and is sitting about 100 yards away now. Probably waiting for me to le release this redfish. Okay, quick and easy release. That gator, I can see him, yeah, sitting pretty far out there, but. The uh, fish shaking around called him in. Okay, not sure if that's gonna be the last fish of the day. It probably is, because it's now, it's now starting to get a bit windy out here and I gotta head back to the boat ramp. But, I'm gonna hop back on here. Ooh. All right, let me get out of this wind here. Basically, that was an insane day. Let me know what you guys think of the paddleboard, if it was a good idea, if it was worth it. In the uh, comments and uh, yeah just back to what I was saying on that redfish I had seen because I don't know I don't remember if I made it clear or not but I had seen a pretty big alligator up on the shoreline just before I hooked that big bull red and uh, I saw him then I hooked the red fighting the red about to land the red and I kind of started to look up because I remembered that alligator might be nearby and he's literally 100 yards away with his head out of the water Looked like he was kind of coming towards me, but who knows. At least I had got his attention with the fish. But uh, yeah, just went for a quick release on him. And uh, redfish was all okay. So that is it. Let me know if you guys enjoyed the video. Thumbs up. If you guys are new to the channel, please hit the subscribe button. And I will see you guys in that next video.